A wonderful night at Ball Arena. Fans were back in the stands, the first responders, the healthcare workers, and they were fired up. They got to see a very interesting Denver Nuggets basketball game and leading the way for the Nuggets, the Blue Arrow. Yep, Jamal Murray poured in 30, making an array of difficult shots. Murray Flurry and the flash Blue Arrow right there. And the Denver Nuggets picking up their 29th win this season. Hi, everybody. Welcome Chris Marlowe and Scott Hastings. Well, this game started out like it was going to be the route of the century. Nuggets led by one or, or led after one uh, by 22 points, Scott. Well, they scored 44 in the first quarter. They scored 44 in the next two quarters, and they scored 36 in the second half. But that first quarter was brilliant, and it was just all the energy of finally having fans in this building uh, and you could just feel it. And we talked about it in the pregame show. And you could just feel it. And the guys fed off it in that first quarter. Yeah, Jamal Murray likes to say when they're fans in the stands, that pumps up his game. And that certainly did tonight. As I mentioned, he ended up with 30 points. And he was making tough shots from outside and from inside. Yeah, you got to be careful trying to live with him. But when he gets in those zones, watch out. I mean, he, he was also brilliant. Early on, it was limited. Now, late, he had to take some tough shots. And he made them, and, and they needed him to make a handful of those, to be honest with you, and the, the, the scoring kind of went dry. That, that was one of those right there in that one. But listen, he, he's the emotional leader of this team. He played off that, uh, the, the crowd, and his post game with Katie was as, as energetic and, and, and let me get some applause post game I've ever seen. Yeah, he wanted to play another quarter if he could have, and they almost did. Well, early on, besides Jamal Murray going crazy, Michael Porter Jr. had 20 in the first half. He could not miss. Yeah, he was, he was brilliant in that, in that first half in particular. Had 20 in the first half, had a couple baskets early in the third quarter, and they kind of got quiet. But 27 points, I don't know how you sneeze on a guy that gets 27 in a game. And I still think he leaves points on the floor. There was times we mentioned, and I don't know if he gets tired as the game goes or what. A couple cuts, and he's got some more. He was great, I thought, on the offensive class as well as the defensive class. He threw in 12 rebounds as well, three offensive. So uh, when Michael Porter, listen, we know he can shoot. But when he's moving and he's making those shots, I, I don't know how you stop him on the offensive end. Well, it's not often that Nikola Jokic is our third banana of the night. He got another double-double. That's his 42nd on the season. And uh, could he have more? Yeah. But I thought Nikola Jokic played a heck of a game. Well, and, and listen, they, they, they played physical. They played small. The, the officials early on, or late third and early fourth quarter, they, they kind of let, let them play, Philadelphia huh? play. And it really took a lot of starts out of the cell. But when it didn't matter, you know, when the, the, the big guys were on, the starters were on, I mean, he was he was outstanding. And he was doing about whatever he wanted, whether it was Dwight Howard or whoever it was. So, uh, and by the way, that's – that's not called. Neither one of those. But yeah, that was a foul. Call. Yeah, they weren't called. But listen, Nikola Jokic made his presence known. Uh, but you're right. And, and he didn't care. Let's win the game. And I know he was excited to see. And we've been highlighting right here the big three. And th the big three were outstanding again. When you have 78 points between those three guys, I mean, that, that, that's a tough night on opponents. All right, so the Denver Nuggets now have a three-game winning streak. They're going to go on the road Thursday, and they're going to play at the L.A. Clippers. How do you how do you size up that matchup? Well, listen, you haven't seen them since Christmas, and that's a long time ago. You're a different team. They're a different team. Uh, you're playing well right now. You guys go in there and do the things you do well. Uh, let's see Aaron Gordon go against, you know, Western Conference foes. He's been in the East his entire career, so now he gets to learn uh, uh, Kawhi Leonard, although Kawhi did spend some time in Toronto, mm -hmm. Paul George, and on and on. So, uh, I, I, listen, they're better. Let, let's go and win. They did not play good on Christmas Day, and it was still a close game yeah. late. All right, that game on Thursday night, you can see it exclusively on TNT. We'll be back on the air on Sunday when the Nuggets uh, take on the Orlando Magic. Our start time is going to be 7 o'clock. Who does Orlando have left? Well, they got R.J. Hampton. You want to see him work his magic against the Nuggets? Nuggets Magic Sunday. Hope you join us then.